Good evening, and welcome to another episode of Quarantining with the Classics. Doing something a little different this time. Uh, Slipping channels today, and honestly, I didn't see a movie that was worth making fun of. So I'm going to do something different. And I, I, there's been a meme going around the internet uh, talking about why it's a bad idea to hang out with Tom Hanks. Now, Tom Hanks is well regarded as one of the nicest men in Hollywood, and frankly, if you ever run into Tom Hanks in real life, you probably should hang out with him. But his movies, the characters he plays has a long, long history of just being people you should avoid. And it starts back in the 80s with Splash. I mean, he almost drowns. Okay, that could happen. But then he falls in love with a mermaid. That's just going to be drama. Later, he goes into the money pit where he tries to buy a house, but due to some really poor financial you know, decisions, uh, you know, it, it ended up breaking him. Uh, you know, home inspections. Later on is big. After that, you know, honestly, turns into a 12-year-old. He can buy a beer, so that's not too terrible. But you learn the lesson of always be really careful what you ask Zoltar. Then he moves on to the Burbs, and again, bad luck follows him. He ends up with the Kopex next door, and they're just disasters. Finally, Joe versus the volcano. I mean, the guy was convinced for the entire movie he had a brain cloud. A brain cloud, whatever that is. Later on, he moves on to A League of Their Own, where overall a positive movie, but he has a major drinking problem. And the entire movie's got to deal with this annoying kid going, you're gonna lose, you're gonna lose. And he does that to a point where he actually has to throw a shoe at the kid. Sleepless in Seattle was next. Haven't seen it. I have a little bit of man card still left, so I'm not going to go there. Philadelphia was just sad. Then Forrest Gump was a mixed bag, but in the end he got shot in the Botox, so, you know, he still got shot. Apollo 13 starts off great, gets to go to the moon, then all hell breaks loose. Doesn't get to the moon, has to eat frozen hot dogs. You know, the Toy Story series will lump into one. You know, toys have a hard life. Kids, take care of your stuff. Seriously. Then he moves on to Saving Private Ryan, where he, you know, unfortunately passes away saving Matt Damon. Now, the trials and tribulations of Matt Damon and how much money the U.S. government has spent saving Matt Damon from his various misfortunes is a topic for a whole other video. Finally, you've got mail. Then there's that man card thing again. Never saw it. Not going to admit to it. Moves on to the Green Mile. Green Mile, great movie. The entire movie, he's got a urinary tract infection and it hurts to pee for an entire movie. Castaway, best friends with a volleyball. Things didn't go well. Catch me if you can. Overall, good movie. He wins in the end, but the entire time he spends getting humiliated by a 15-year-old Leonardo DiCaprio. The Terminal is my nightmare. You're stuck watching, you know, watching people move in and out and eating airport food. Da Vinci Code. Nice trip to Paris, he's on vacation, all's well, he's going to meet up with the friends. All of a sudden, an albino assassin is trying to kill him, and he's involved in some massive conspiracy. Charlie Wilson's War is next. He's doing pretty good in that one, I'll give him that one. Moves on to Angels and Demons. Again, more evil Church Illuminati stuff, he gets wrapped up in that stuff again. Cloud Atlas. Don't know what the hell was going on there. And then he moves on to Captain Phillips. Nah, that didn't go well again. I'm the captain now, not good. From Biz Bridge of Spies is next, and then he gets caught up in a pissing match between the Americans, the Russians, the East Germans. It was a big deal. Again, didn't, yeah, he, he made out of it okay, but it was rough. Finally, then Sully. Tough to watch, because for me, that's basically my worst nightmare directed by Clint Eastwood, starring Tom Hanks as me. Yeah, again, that didn't go well. And finally, for the obscure list, if you're an SNL fan, David S. Pumpkins. Any questions? This was Quarantining with the Classics. Have a good night. Stay safe.